I'm very excited to see something out of this world, uh, kind of something that will give us hope that things could be again alive and vibrant. My name is Vera Fustik. I'm originally from former Yugoslavia and I've been involved um, for more than 20 years in different art media. My artistic practice include watercolor paintings, acrylic, um, some mixed media and uh, recently, maybe 10 years ago, <laughs> not really recently, I've been involved in face painting. The process of creating uh, uh, 11 uh, different faces uh, was kind of a long process. Basically, uh, first time when I saw different categories, I was imagining what kind of faces I, I like to see. I did small sketches, but it's different when you transfer something from the paper on the face. and. Uh, the process is even more uh, different when you see the person. When I was aware about all that categories, um, decision didn't come uh, at once. I was wondering, having all kinds of ideas. And then I was limited with the time, 30 minutes per face, and also no knowing uh, that it will be futuristic um, idea, something uh, kind of give me directions and lead me in that direction. And yeah, I had images in mind, but sometimes going there um, at uh, the place where we did face painting, at the moment I talk to person, things change. And basically for every category, I had idea what is in my mind, um, uh, let's say fine arts or dancers, but I was a little bit kind of hesitant, uh, thinking what, what another person will say, what the uh, artist will think about, uh, like is that my image uh, going to correlate with their images. Yeah. My name is Mitchell Bowers, but I'm more commonly known by my drag character Sima Down. Uh, my artistic practice is mostly drag, but I also do theater, I paint, I bead, I am a makeup artist, I uh, do a little bit of everything. So I got onto the creative team as an uh, indigenous makeup artist. For the promotions, I created uh, one of the makeup looks uh, for indigenous arts. So I had a lot of ideas going into uh, this creating this makeup look. Um, I originally was planning, thinking about doing, uh, really focusing on my Métis heritage, um, planning to do something in like a pointillism, almost making it look like beading. Um, and then it was through cons consultation with the model and really looking at her artwork that inspired the final outcome, which it was the Northern Lights, and then um, using feathers and the medicine wheel colors as well to really uh, take some of that direct symbolism from indigenous culture. The northern lights which in um, Cree culture symbolize souls that have passed on um, and it's something that is featured very heavily in Amy's work and so I was really inspired by her work in creating this makeup look. When I see the person, we didn't have a time, just one by one, and person sit, and I do, do my uh, uh, painting, face painting, and I give them a mirror, and they see uh, how it looked like. Their faces and reactions was most rewarding. But let's say, even not giving uh, them a mirror, uh, at one point, Kritsana uh, was there, and I uh, face painted Salvador's Dali uh, face, and uh, before I gave him a mirror to see, uh, he said, I know what you did. Uh, he said, it's Salvador Dali. <laughs> that was really uh, fun for me. My favorite part of the creative process is getting to see some of the specs, behind the scenes stuff, seeing other people's processes work, and being a part of a collaborative team. Working with all these artists and specifically with Jenna Buffett photography, it was very exciting and 
sometimes even scary at the moment when I know uh, every half hour I have a different faces and also Jenna was very supportive she will encourage me oh just do this and uh, light and my photography will finish things because sometimes I was thinking oh I didn't have enough time to finish I, I was about to add something else and uh, she was uh, saying okay we will work like this and in the end I was happy with the result but yeah the process was not so easy for me but every single artist who came in different categories uh, gave me support and that was collaboration they smiled they uh, looked good and they were excited and uh, yeah no one was kind of thinking what is this <laughs> that was part of that I love it the Buffies are an amazing way to celebrate and showcase the artists of our region. As a previous winner and somebody who's uh, worked on the last couple, it's um, it's really great to be recognized and to be able to recognize others in our community that are doing so many great things. It is a celebration of people who are uh, committed to something that they love and uh, that's uh, something I always appreciate in this community. It's very vibrant and multicultural and supportive for artists all over the world. Tickets are on sale now for Buffy's 2022. We can't wait to see you on October 22nd.